Okay, Go. so this is the random assortment um, demonstration for our meiosis lab. So this bag represents the nucleus of a cell. And inside the cell, and this is a parent cell, there are six chromosomes. And if we pair them up by size, we will notice that there are two of each size. There are two small, two medium, and two large. And the chromosomes of the same size are homologous pairs and would have genes that code for the same traits on them. There are two colors because the two colors represent the two parents in sexual, sexual reproduction. So you could say that the white is the mother and the black uh, chromosomes come from the father. Um, I would have liked to have used red and blue, but these are the colors they happen to have at Michael's. So if we draw the parent cell, we're gonna draw our diploid cell. We're gonna draw a large dark chromosome and a large white chromosome, a medium dark, and a medium white, and a small dark, and a small white. So you can see that for the white ones, uh, for the white chromosomes, I am just leaving it, um, you know, just doing the outline and then not filling it in. And then for the black one, I'm, do, I'm filling it in. So now we have two large, two medium, and two small. So what we're gonna do in this lab is we're going to randomly choose one chromosome of each size. I'm gonna put them into the bag and then I'm gonna do six trials and I'm going to see which chromosome combinations I get. And in each gamete, I'm gonna get one small, one medium, and one large. If I got two of the same size chromosome, that means I am having double of some genes and I'm missing another chromosome of the, of the other size, so I'm missing some other genes. So I wanna make sure that I get one small, one medium and one large, so I have one large, one medium, and one small. So I'm gonna come over to here and I'm gonna draw my small dark one, a medium black, and a really large white one. I'm gonna kind of make these a little bit thicker so they look the same thickness. And that's because I have one small that's black, one medium black, and one large white. So there's different possible combinations that I can get. I'm gonna put these back into my bag, shake up my bag. You don't need to watch me shake the bag. It doesn't have to be in the shot. But I'm reaching in and I have one medium, medium, one large, and one small. All right, so in this particular case, I'm gonna come over here and record. I have one small, one medium, and one large, and they're all the same color. They were all black. Okay, so this gamete is different from this gamete. Now, there were six chromosomes in the parent cell, and there are three chromosomes in the gametes, which makes sense because the parent cell is diploid and the gametes are haploid. And you can tell that the parent cell is diploid because there are homologous pairs. There are um, chromosomes that are the same size as each other. So let's do gametes, the trials, three, four, five, and six. So one medium one large, and one small. All right, so I'm gonna come back over here and record this. I have a, the small one is white, so I'm just gonna do an outline. The large one is white, and the medium one is black. So I'm gonna fill that in. Okay, so now I'm gonna do three more trials. Large, medium, small. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to the paper. I have a large black chromosome 
a medium black chromosome and a small, oops, small, what, oh, that doesn't look very good. It looks like a black one. Um, and I want this to look like that. So if you look at that one, um, that's a small white one, a medium dark, and a large dark one. Okay, two more trials to go. White, medium white, small black one. So we have back over here, large white, medium white, and a small black chromosome. And we have to have one more trial. So we have all three of the chromosomes are black. So we have a large black chromosome, a medium black chromosome, and a small black chromosome. So if you look, gametes in trial two and six are the same, but none of the rest of these I don't think are the same. They're all, the, all the rest are different. So this just shows that you can get different combinations of chromosomes in the gametes. And that's what random assortment is all about. Starting off with the same parent cell, um, when you do random assortment, you can get different combinations of chromosomes in the gametes.